Hey YouTube, this is Southern Prepper One. Real quick video. Um, people that want to survive a worst case event, uh, be it a collapse of society, be it an economic collapse, be it an EMP, be what, whatever it is, you have to think outside the box to survive. Um, if you have that ability, you're going to survive a lot better than someone that has uh, spent a lot of money and bought all these gadgets, uh, but they can't think outside the box, they can't improvise, they can't overcome and adapt. Um, I, I know people that actually live in a suburban area that uh, very small lot, so they can't do a lot, and they actually can't even have uh, rain catchment because of a homeowners association. They're not in a position where they can just up and move, so they have to make the best of it. Uh, so they have kayaks, um, something similar, actually a lot longer, and they keep them in their garage. This can use for emergency water storage. Uh, I have 65 gallons of water in this small kayak. Um, if you have a bigger one, definitely more. As you can see, we have some screws inside for the feet area, uh, but all those have rubber washers on. So go ahead, if you have a kayak, check it. Make sure it can hold water. I have 65 gallons of water here, and I can have 65 gallons there. For me, what I would use these for, because I live out with, in the country, have lots of water sources, I would pull these two things into the woods if I was gonna have, if there's a wildfire close by, to put out spot fires, not to attack the big fire, but because of all the fire embers that would be blowing onto my property, uh, a bucket and this in a wood wooded area um, with anyone a 10 year old kid could do this um, just watch for the embers that fall pour a little water on them so you got to improvise and overcome if you have a kayak like this it's not made to store water because there's holes in it um, I have a John boat over there that probably I haven't calculated probably tipped upside down could store 200 gallons of water uh, it's very lightweight, so no problems to move it. So if you live in a suburban area, you have some kayaks, you have a small boat. You could put these right in your garage, fill them full of water in an emergency. Um, and then you can at least put it in if you have a monolithic or a Berkey or some way to filter it. Uh, if not, you use this water to flush your toilets uh, or to do some basic cleaning and personal hygiene. Um, if you have time, bleach it out, wash it out, add a little bit of bleach to it. It's going to store a long time. I put the cover on this one. I would put some clamps on it so that way if you need to get water quickly, you can get the water out, reclamp it, because uh, those things are a pain. My wife made that one. If you didn't have that, uh, that top is flat across there, so uh, cardboard box broken open. Just lay it on there to keep anything from falling in. You could put these in your garage in a worst case event. Uh, neighbors wouldn't even think you had extra water. Um, because if you, you're the only one on your block that have water, uh, you're going to have some security issues. Um, so, think outside the box. 65 gallons of water in each one. That's a lot of water if you live in a suburban area uh, where you're on city water and you can't have rain catchment. Um, you might be able to do some rain catchment outside under some gutters and then just carry that bucket into your garage and pour it into your source. Um, so think outside the box in a worst case event. It's the people that are going to survive. Thanks for watching.